Hey guys, so I've um, got a Cyburst Link uh, deck profile today. So obviously the uh, Link, uh, Cyburst have had a structure deck and a starter deck. And they've had two um, set, two sets of cards in the first two uh, booster sets of uh, the Link era. And the deck is still pretty crap. But it's, uh, it's a fun deck and it's the main character's deck. So I thought why not do a profile on it? Eh? So you start off with uh, three copies of Balancer Lord. Uh, Balancer Lord has 1700 attack, he's the beat stick ish of the deck. Uh, you can pay a thousand life points for this card on the field. You gain an additional normal summon of a Cyburst monster this turn. And if this card is banished, you can special summon at level 4 or lower monster from your hand. But you can only get the additional special summon once per turn. <coughs> Next, play three copies of Draco Net. When this card is normal summoned, you can special summon level 2 or lower normal monster from your hand or deck. And then use that to go into Link Spider to then go into more links. Then you'll play two copies of Digitron, which came in the structure deck. Uh, it's a normal level 2 monster, 1500 attack. And then you get his little brother, or little sibling, whatever. Bitron, 200 attack, 2000 defense again. Level 2 normal monster. <coughs> play two copies of Boot Staggered. Uh, when you normal summon a side base monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. And when this card attacks an opponent's monster, um, yeah, uh, sorry, inflicts battle damage to the opponent's monster, you can special summon a. Stag token, which is level 1 to 0 attack and defense, but it is a cyburst monster, so it can help to go into links again. Two copies of Link Slayer. Level 5 cyburst monster. It's a bit like Cyber Dragon Special Summon if you control no monsters. But then it's got the Twin Twister effect where you can discard up to two cards in your hand to destroy two spell trap cards on your opponent's. Yeah, uh, two of your opponent's spell trap cards. Play two copies of Ron Claudia. Uh, 1800 attack point monster. Again, somewhat of a beat stick, but not really. Uh, when this card is normal summon, you can target one monster in your graveyard, except one cloud here, add it back to your hand, so you could add back stuff like Backup Secretary, or any cyber monsters that can just special summon themselves back out to create more links. As I said, uh, I'll just Backup Secretary, play two of these. So um, if you control another cyber monster, you can special summon this card from your hand, but you can only use this effect once per turn. Play the one copy of Salvin Driver. Now this card, it's it's 2200 attack, but it's level 6, but it is sort of a hand trap for the deck. If a cyber link monster you control is destroyed by an opponent's card effect while this card is in your hand or graveyard, except during the damage step, you can special summon this card from your... You can special summon this card, and that's got the secondary effect. You can scarp one spell card and target one cyber monster in your graveyard. Special summon it, but it cannot attack directly this turn. You only get the second effect of this card once per turn. Next play, one copy of Launcher Commander. Uh, 1700 attack gain. All of Cyburst monsters you control gain 300 attack, so you get that slight attack buff. Um, once per turn, you can target one Cyburst monster, then target one face up monster your opponent controls and destroy it. So, so, you, so you tribute one Cyburst monster to destroy a card your opponent controls. Summon, uh, sorry, summon. Play one wrong cloud here. Uh, you can tribute this, you can tribute, sorry, you can tribute one monster on the field and target a Cyburst monster in your graveyard, special summon it. So it's pretty cool. You can get rid of a really crap monster and bring back cards such as Firewall Dragon. Or any other Cyberbest monster in general. Uh, one copy of Stack Reviver. When this card is used for a Link Summon, you can bring back a level 4 or lower uh, Cyberbest monster that was used for Link Summon that involved this card, including itself. One copy of uh, Dotscape. When this card sent to the graveyard, immediately bring it back. You get that effect once per turn. Um, sorry, once per duel. And when this card is banished, you can also bring it back. Again, you only get that effect once per duel. One copy of Link Infer uh, Filler. In for filler, and the kite. Um, it's a bit like backup secretary. You can just special summon this card from your hand to a link, uh, a link point, one of your link monsters points to on the field. Uh, you play the one Gofu because Gofu summons itself, and then it's a one card deco target. Play the Maxi because yeah, if you play a lot of monsters in this deck, and if you can draw a few more cards, that's brilliant. <coughs> Moving on to the spell cards. Play uh, three copies of Cyber uh, Sign at Backdoor. Target one uh, monster you control, banish it, and if you do, add one Cyberbase monster from your deck to your hand whose attack is lower than that monster's original attack. And then during the next standby phase, that monster comes back, the one you banished, and it can attack your opponent directly that turn. Three copies of the wonderful scapegoat because it's a, it's basically a one card firewall dragon, or you can just use it to protect yourself. There's so many ways you can use it. Obviously, you can't use it going first because you can't summon again that turn, but yeah, it's it can be used as a trap and it just helps you with links. Uh, one time passcode, it's even got another like scapegoat on the front of it. Just summons you a cyber token to your side of the field. Uh, 2000 attack and 2000 defense. You can only activate one of this per turn, but the reason you play this is just to get another cyber monster on the field. 
One mind control if you go in second, just snatch an opponent's monster, use its effects, use it for Link Summon. It's fantastic. Uh, one Dark Hole, Dark Hole, just remove stuff you don't like. Uh, same point with Regeki, just get rid of stuff you, your opponent's got that you like, don't want to see anymore. One Soul Charge, bring back cards, go back to the more links, just extend your plays. Two copies of Solemn Strike, pay 1500, negate the opponent's special summon or monster effect. And uh, one Solemn Warning, 2000, negate a lot of stuff, it's pretty cool. Um, so that is the 40 card extra deck. I believe it's something like 20, sorry, 40 card main deck. I believe it's something like um, 26 monsters, as you say, you do play quite a few. Uh, onto the extra deck, three copies of Links about it. Uh, the reason you could take it down to two, I guess. I like playing three because you could occasionally and rarely get off a extra link with this, where you take the your opponent's other extra monster zone. Um, link Spider can just be used as the generic link one to increase your uh, increase your links. One copy of Link Bumper. Uh, this card uh, needs two cyber monsters, and in the damage step before uh, monster, this card's two points attack the opponent's monster, uh, opponent's link monster. You can activate this effect. That monster that attacked can gain. Uh, other attacks up to the number of link monsters your opponent controls. Uh, yeah, link monsters your opponent controls, but only that card can attack this turn. Play two copies of Proxy Dragon. You can just use two scapegoat tokens for these, and it just gives you the left and right link arrows to extend your plays. One copy of Guy Saber. Again, you can use three tokens to go into this. It's got down, left, and right, so it's got a bit of vis uh, versatility to it. <coughs> One Trigate Wizard. I think that was the cat, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it was the cat. <laughs> um, uh, one Trigate Wizard, two monsters except tokens, and it gets different effects depending on the amount of mutual links. So the first one, if a monster's co-linked to this, um, battle damage your opponent receives is doubled. Uh, two co-links, once per turn you can target one card in the field and banish it. Uh, three co-links, once per turn when a card or card effect is activated, you can negate it, the activation and destroy it. I mean, it's hard to get the three co-link out with that card, but it's pretty cool if you do. One Ningesu, um, you can't use the effect of this in this deck to draw cards, and you can't use the effect when it's sent to the graveyard to summon a world chalice monster, but what you can do is use its effect to target one card on either side of the field and send it to the graveyard. In fact, it doesn't even target, I believe. Um, yeah, it doesn't not target, no, it just says send. Uh, one Encode Talker, to be fair, I very rarely use this card, so I might take it out. Once per turn before damage calculation. <clears throat> yeah, I'll get my breath. If your monster this card points to battles an opponent's monster with higher attack, you can make that monster un be unable to be destroyed by battle this turn. And if you do, you can target either this card or one card it points to, and it gains attack to that monster's attack until the end of the, uh, the end of the turn. Play the one copy of Deco Talker. Like I said, I might drop the Enco Talker, and I might even put in a second copy of Deco Talker. Uh, one copy of Firewall Dragon. It's the Ace monster, the main character's deck, so you definitely need to play it, but by that, it's still a very good card. Um, you just need four monsters, so you can use uh, Scapegoat to go straight into this. Uh, once while this card is facing up the field, it's a quick effect. You can target uh, monsters on the field or in the graveyard up to the number of monsters that are co-linked to this, and then add them back to your hand. Uh, and any time during your turn, if a monster that this card points to is sent to the graveyard or destroyed by a battle or card effect, you can special summon a monster from your hand. So you can just continue to, continue to extend your plays by regaging monsters to then special summon them out again. Uh, one Tropological Bomber Dragon. Again, this card's only getting really, uh, really being played in the deck because it's a big Cyburst monster, but might take it out. It's got 3,000 attack, and if a card is to be summoned to a link point on this, uh, a link point where this card points, it destroys all monsters in the main monster zone. So it's like a Dark Hole, but your monsters can't attack that turn. You could play Scapegoat and time it correctly just to blow out your opponent's field. One copy of Bobolo Dragon, again it's another Link 4 monster. Um, during, damage, during the battle phase you can basically use this card, the card that it's attacking, you can take control of it and then you've just gained another monster. Um, that's Bobolo Dragon. And then the one card that isn't a Link monster that we play in this deck is number 41. Um, I wanted to keep this deck Link centric but I found that number 41 can help you out. I mean. Its effect went in defense mode to turn other monsters to defense mode doesn't work on link monsters. It's it, it can store you out and it can help you get to those cards you need to extend your plays. So anyway, that's the deck. As I said, it's it's not great, it's not perfect, it's certainly not competitive. But anyway, just had fun with it. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.